I'm back, and I'm here in the middle of October, getting ready for Halloween, to talk to you about pomegranates. I um, want to take all of these pomegranates, I want to de-seed them, or remove the perels, I think they're called, um, and I'm going to run them through my juicer, and get um, a fair amount of juice, and with that fair amount of juice, I'm going to make some pomegranate jelly. Yay! And whatever's left over, I'm going to drink it because this stuff is good. It's it's one of the one of the best antioxidants out there that you can get a hold of in terms of juices. And in my opinion, they're better than blueberries. They're also more potent than blueberries, so take that as you will. Uh, these beautiful beauties here aren't nearly as nice as the ones I used to get from my sister when she lived here because she had a pomegranate tree in her backyard, and no store-bought pomegranate has ever, ever matched the beauty that came off of her tree. But she moved away, so I don't get them anymore. So there we go. I, um, I understand that this amount of pomegranates is probably intimidating to someone who's not used to working with them. I've done a little research on how to de-seed a pomegranate, and I found a few different ways um, one, one involves water, a sink full of water, and splaying apart, and it didn't work for me. I didn't like that. But so what I'm going to share with you was something that I did find, and it worked really well, and it is one of the best stress relievers i found, even better than making bread. <laughs> um, so let's get to it. Here's my pomegranate. If you are looking to use your pomegranate purels for a, for a garnish or in some form where you need to keep them whole and pretty. And um, They say to actually just score the, the, um, the edge around here, around the crown, and kind of peel off the outer skin, the outer rind, whatever you want to call it. I'm not doing that. I'm making juice, so it's all going to be demolished. There's nothing, no need for pretty here. What you need is a good knife, and you cut this baby in half. And there you go. Start with that. Start with this side. Now, you'll see these membranes. They're right along through here, and then there's these, this pith. It's kind of like orange pith, and pretty much just as bitter. Um, what you want to do is you want to kind of pull these apart gently. You don't want to pull them apart completely, although that very might, very well might happen because it happens to me a lot. But what you're doing is you're loosening these little pockets of seeds off of the membranes. So you want to do it that way. See? That happens to me every single time. So. Like I said, don't do this in your favorite t-shirt. You'll never be able to wear it in public again. So ready for this? Take your wooden spoon or something equally useful. Spank your pomegranate. See, they just fall right out. Everywhere. Like I said, Quick and simple, but definitely not neat. See? Already completely deceited. Not even just clean up. Completely. A little last little bit here. Yeah, those aren't great. There we go. Pick out your little pieces that came with it. There you have it. Quick and easy, de-seeding pomegranates. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, you know, comment down below, let me know if it worked for you, if it didn't, um, or even if you have an idea of another video that you might like to see me do. I would love to, to know about it because, you know, I, I always need new ideas. So thank you so much. And, uh, have a happy Halloween and happy Thanksgiving. Bye.